Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna actually gonna take a look at another DNA design kit for you guys. I know this one is though it's very late, uh, which has been uploaded a month ago. I was planning to do one, but I kind of lost track of it. Long story short, it's kind of my fault. Anyways, if you guys already seen the last one I did, which is the upgrade kit for Studio Series 86 for Cup, Hot Rod, and Jazz, and plus it is Studio Series for the Bumblebee version of Starscream, go ahead and check it out. On the end of the video, until the end of the video, or if you can, or if you want to see it right now, go to the information symbol on the top right. Also, if you want to see the full playlist of every DNA design kit I, I did, go ahead and check it out. So today I'm going to review one is the DNA design DK22 Master Gear Accessory Series for Studio Series 58, 63, and 68. This is for these. This is for Robuster. Top spin and left foot. The records, yes. Now, if you guys will notice, I had to my mom had to switch the photos for the left to the right because the organization is kind of out of whack. So yeah. Anyways, um, here it is what it looks like. All the DNA design kit. Now this part right here, this is the for left foot. Even the chain right here. Why should I show you that? I'll show you that after I'm done showing this. This part right here will be for Robuster, and this part right here is for Totspin. So, let's get on with showing you guys, but here it is what it looks like, and it's pretty cool. Now, let's get on on, on the first side. So, here it is the upgrade kits for, for left foot, and just by looking over it, this is a pretty cool um, upgrade kit for it. Now, you realize it's gonna, you realize the chain that's for his little dog right here which I kind of forgot the name of it yeah uh, yeah I actually kind of forgot the name of it named the, the little the little bastard right here but you can see um left foot right here have his have the to have his color right here with chain on him and here's the best thing about this they have the up one of the upgrade kit have it on the side right here so I guess that's I think that's one of them right here or could be something else uh I have no clue but but here it is what he looks like and here it is before here it is the original what it looks like here it is the back and his legs and here it is with it see with the upgrade kiss on it and the and the um uh, and the legs right here you notice the um the rocket launcher is on the back instead of the side of it which it is kind of a pain in the ass to deal with and believe me it is a pain in the ass um, here it is one of the funny photos of what it looks like that rope that his dog is out of control then the records try to try to save him to you know to make don't let him get loose so yeah that's pretty funny uh, what they did here here's the upgrade kit for rope buster so I guess the only way to the only upgrade kit is here it is the before what it looks like and here it is the after so his new his gun his gathering blaster which is what it, what it, what it looks like is now it's up there and the and this right here with the upgrade kits covering up his covering up the forearms part of the forearms right here and his new gun and his new chainsaw right here but i wish they could add some bit of more paint to it in my opinion that's pretty cool and now for top spin now top spin is one of the is one of the best in part this upgrade kit okay now let's let's see what's getting on with this here it is what it looks like the original you can see his accessory right here with the rubber piece his bent ass gun which is not that great and of course his other guns right here and here it is what his legs look like um i still give i still need to ask my sister to give back my top spin figure i could try to figure it out to paint paint him but yeah but here it is with the ad with the added with the upgrade kids you can see his claws now has some articulation you can find him straighten out the guns right here Instead of warping around, and you can replace these shitty guns right here with the this one right here, and you can replace the new pair of legs that Tospin have, which is pretty cool. So he can make it, you know, a bit more taller. Oh, this is for the last. This is the this is the one I'm gonna use for the thumbnail. This is all I did a show off on that review, so I apologize for that. Let's see if we can go to the this. Here it is what it looks like the original Tospin, what he looks like, and here it is with the upgrade kits. He just updated his height, and the kit can fully transform also. So that part is pretty cool. And yes, I am looking over very late, and like I said, I apologize for it. I was planning to do it, but um, I was pretty busy playing Apex. 
So like I said, it's my fault. I'm a jackass. So yeah, shut the hell up. And here it is, all the records together. Pretty cool. Still, left foot is the shortest one. Pretty depressed. Pretty depressing right here. But Tuscan look great with the new add-on of the upgrade kits. So awesome. And here it is, all of them together in their vehicle mode. You can see the uh, Ro Buster have his little side guns right here. I don't know where's the cha oh, it's a chainsaw store right here. Which uh, can I make it like a? Can I just like zoom in closely? Like, okay, probably not. But you can pair, you can see the um, the chainsaw. I can't do it again. You can see the chainsaw is stored nice and perfectly, and all, along with you know the rope uh, top spin um, his his cause accessory accessories right here, pretty cool, nice and stuck. I don't know about left foot, but I think left foot is the same thing. Minus his add-ons is all the way up there, which is pretty cool. Same thing his little Gatling gun that he have, his little sight guns that he have, which is pretty cool. I might have to pull like add more paint to it after you know after I'm done like you know. You know, um, painting this. I'm still waiting for the top spin to be finished, but I probably need to ask my sister to give it back. But yeah, and that pretty much that's it for the photos of it. Overall, the upgrade kit is one of my favorite. I do highly recommend it to have this kit if you want to add it on to your for the records. I will probably get it. I asked my friend Autocorrect Primary if he could try to get it for me, but but if I have enough money, I will probably get it for myself. And I love this upgrade kit. I like I said, I like I highly recommend it to have this in your collect to have this in your for your collection if you want to make your transformers to have, have like upgrade kits or it. Like I said, this is this is uh, this right here is a good upgrade kit and I highly recommend it. Anyways you guys, I'm gonna need, I need uh my brain has stopped working. Please insert meme to my brain. Insert some spicy dank meme on my brains because my brain is is not being stupid. I'm stuttering a lot, I'm so sorry. I have a massive brain fart. But like I said, I highly recommend it. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end this uh, recording right now. Have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out. And also, leave a comment down below which upgrade kit you guys love the most that DNA Design um, created. For me, I love the Devastator upgrade kits. I love the Shockwave upgrade kits. I love the upgrade kits that they're showing off with number 25 and this. But leave the, like I said, leave the comment down below. Anyways, you guys, I'm out.